Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. We're here with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the ma'rifah and the nakira. So the indefinite noun and the definite noun in the Arabic language. So nouns in the Arabic language can either be a ma'rifah, which is a definite noun, or nouns that indicate something specific. And there's also a nakira, which is an indefinite noun, or which is a noun that indicates something unspecific. So what's an example of a noun that indicates something specific? Al-Kitabu. Al-Kitabu means the book. But Kitabun means a book. So Kitabun is an indefinite noun. It's referring to something that's not specific, just a random book, if you will. While Al-Kitabu means the book. So Al in the Arabic language means the. So one of the main ways I can differentiate whether a noun is a ma'rifa or a nakira is with what we're going to show you right now, which is the al pretty much. So, how is the difference between a definite and indefinite noun? A definite noun is indicated by al, usually. We're going to see some exceptions about this. While an indefinite noun is indicated by tanwi. Okay? So, we have kitabun baytun, a house, a book. But when I add the al, which means the, it becomes al-baytu, al-kitabu, the house, the book, something that is specific. I'm referring to a specific house, a specific book. So al is one of the particles, or one of the particles, one of the signs of something being definite. Mm -hmm. Note, the al and the tanween can never coexist. And that's why we have here al-kitabu, al-baytu, but here we have kitabun, baytun. Why? Because if I said al-kitabun, Al baytun, that's a mistake. Because the L and the ten we can never coexist. So it's very important to understand. So this is one of the main ways I can differentiate whether a noun is definite or indefinite. Now, one point I like to specify here is what exactly is a tanween? What is a tanween? It is the extra noon that is added at the end of the word, which is pronounced yet not written. I say baytun baytan. Baytin, there's a noon there, but it's pronounced, yet it's not written. Rather, it is, rep it is represented by the doubling of the vowel, right? Baytun, then I have a noon there, right? But I can't see it. Why? Because it's represented or it's replaced, if you will, with the doubling of the dhamma, and then the doubling of the fatah here, and the doubling of the kasra here. So this is what, this is what a tanwin is. So why is this important? Because note, there are different types of definite nouns. So right now we covered one type of definite noun, which is the noun that has an L in it. But there are other types of definite noun. Why? Because a definite noun, a ma'rifa, because a definite noun is any noun that indicates something specific. And there are about there are seven different ways I can indicate that something or point to something that's specific or indicate something specific. So there are different types of definite nouns, the different types of nouns that point to something specific. The L is just one of the ways to do this. And some of these definite nouns will take a tanwi. For example, proper names. Proper names like Muhammad, Zainab, Mecca, Medina. These are nouns that referring to something specific. So they're considered ma'rifa. But they're a different type of ma'rifa. They're not the same as when I put the al, which means the. Okay? So my main point here is that this right here, this rule right here is just one of one of a few examples of how I can differentiate between whether a noun is definite and definite. But there are other ways and there are other types of nouns that are definite, some of them which will take a tanwin, which we're going to cover later on. But for now, since we're just starting to learn Arabic, a good way to differentiate whether a noun is referring to something specific or something unspecific is of the tanwin. So an indefinite noun is indicated by a tanwin, kitabun baytun, while a definite noun is indicated by the al, al baytu, which means the. And al kita which means the book, or in the house, yani. So the al means the. So inshallah, this is the main thing to understand from this entire video. I hope that you benefited. Jazakum al for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.